I'm going to have, let's say, a force F1. And it's given by its magnitude, let's say, 5 Newton. And it makes uh, an angle with x-axis. Let's say the angle is 30 degrees. So that's one case. Then we get another force, F2. And this time the force is, let's say, negative 5 Newton, and that also makes an angle of 30 degrees from the x-axis. So we're looking at two different forces. Both have the same direction, but they have uh, different magnitudes, and they differ by the sign, which is a negative. So, this one could also be equal to another force as having magnitude 5 Newton and all we do is we change the direction. It's an arrow going outside because the arrow within origin. So these two <coughs> as I mean these two representations are identical when you are looking into consideration of vectors. Because <coughs> this negative sign which is here got absorbed into this direction. Or <coughs> another way of saying is that your a force five newton going like this is identical to a force of 5 Newton going like this with the having same angle. So that's just a technical math problem. I mean, <coughs> just in one way the direction going this way, and another case the direction going this way. Now, 